Good morning, dear students. How are you today? Today, I'm going to explain a new lesson. Our lesson is about the verb to be. Am, is, are. There are three sisters. Who are these three sisters? Am, is, are. Each sister has some friends. The friend of am is I. So we use am with I. We use am with I. I am. I am. When I speak about myself, I say I. So who the friend of am? I. Look at that picture. I am a boy. I am in primary two. I am happy. I am wearing blue shoes. Excellent. Good job. The second sister is. Who are the friends of is? He she it so is her three friends who are these friends let's say them together she is he is it is let's say them one more time who are the friends of is she is he is it is great job look at the picture he is a clever boy picture two she is a beautiful girl picture three it is a doll excellent super The third friend is R. Who are the friends of R? They, we, you. Excellent. So, we use R with they, we, you. Let's say them one more time. They are. We are. You are. I want to say them one more time. They are. We are. You are. Amazing. Look at that picture. We are hungry. Picture two. They are classmates. Picture three. You are a good girl. Great. Let's talk about negative. What does negative mean? Negative means to add not. One more time. What does negative mean? Negative means to add not. We form the negative sentence by adding not after am, is, are. Great job. Let's say them one more time. We form the negative sentence by adding not after am, is, are. Don't forget. Example one, I am not hungry. Where do you add not? After am. Super. Example two, Ahmed is not or isn't a doctor. Where do you add not? After is. Example three, Suha and Aya are not or 
aren't friends. Where do you add not? After or. Great job. Question. To form a question with yes or no answer, we put am or is or are at the beginning of the sentence before the subject. Usually, a personal pronoun, a noun, or a proper noun. And a question mark at the end of the sentence. One more time. To form a question, we put am or is or are at the beginning of the sentence before the subject and a question mark at the end of the sentence. What's, what's the subject? The subject is usually a personal pronoun, a noun or a proper noun. Let's read the examples. Is it healthy or... Is the apple healthy? Yes, it is. To form a question, what do you put at the beginning? Is. Excellent. The first letter has to be capital. What do you put after is? It. It is a personal pronoun. Great job. Or, is the apple healthy? Yes, it is. What's after is the apple? The apple is a noun. Example 2. Are they reading or are the children reading? No, they aren't. To form a question, what do you add at the beginning? Are. Super. What's after are? They. They is a personal pronoun. Or, are the children reading? What's after or? The children. The children is a noun. What do you put at the end? Question mark. Why? Because it's a question. Let's practice. Change into negative and question. She is a teacher. I want to change it into negative. Remember, negative means to add not. After is. Good job. The answer will be she is not or isn't a teacher. Change this sentence into question. Remember, start with the is the first letter has to be capital she the first letter of she has to be small the answer will be is she a teacher what do you put at the end question mark great job example two ahmed is 10 years old change it into negative Ahmed is not or isn't 10 years old. Where do you add not? After is. Ahmed is 10 years old. Change it into question. Start with is. The first letter has to be capital. Ahmed, the first letter has to be also capital because it's a proper noun. The answer will be is Ahmed 10 years old. What do you put at the end? Question mark. Example 3. Noha and Soha are thirsty. Noha, change it into negative. Noha and Soha are not or aren't thirsty. Change it into question. Are Noha and Soha thirsty? What do you put at the end? Question mark. Great job. Are you ready for listening the song?
Thanks, dear students, and good luck.